this? This is the Mobo. Mobo. Would you look at this sexy beast? It is a. Uh, I need to see the top. Oh. <laughs> you literally gonna... just took away the thing he was trying to. Right? <laughs> I was trying to get it out of the way so you could put it down. Take I was trying to be like hands off screen. I know you're just He's trying to. He's what I prepared it. earlier. It, it is the ro Rog Strix. Yep, the B350F Gaming. I was. I thought that was an eight. Good thing I'm not reading it. From uh, Azus. Azus. The Strix. Strix. That. That's the gaming range. It's beautiful. She's a crazy, crazy people, isn't she? Yes. From my PCA. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cat's right behind your ass. A wild cat came with his. Hey, buddy. For the CPU, we have... Oh, yeah. AMD Ryzen 7. This is the second generation, so it's a... What is it? Does it have it on the box? It's a, um, a 2700X. Yeah, there you there. go. 2700X. Nice. That means that there are 2700Xs in this wow. CPU. Jared spent many years uh, getting into and out of relationships in order to facilitate this. <laughs> <laughs> it has all been for this. This is our first unboxing video of any any kind, but like it's a special one. Mm. Look at that. What is that? It's, it's a, that's the CPU. I know that's the CPU. Did it come with a cooler? Looks like it did. Interesting. Toss it out. <laughs> Here is the cooler that we're not using, so bye. Yeah. Here is the CPU. I'll be honest, I didn't. Yeah, that's what we're going to use. I'll be honest, I didn't check um, because the, the the Gen 1 didn't come with a cooler. Is that a badge to put on the case so that yes. sure is. you can show off that it's got a, yeah. a, a Risen in it? Yeah. It's Ryzen on. Risen? Ryzen, I believe, technically. Not like to be confused with Ryzen. <laughs> Jared, please. Alright, um, now, if the gift that I found online is anything to go by, the mm -hmm. next step is to put some uh, glue along here so you can keep the CPU in. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Plop it in. Very, let it fall in. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Sounds good. That sounded right, and then you just lock the arm down and... I think you pop it under a lip. Yep. Yep. There you go. Done. Much easier than the um, the LGA double one double five series from the Gen three. Cool. So what do we do now, Alex? Probably RAM, and we can install the M two SSD as well. So for RAM, we have the Corsair Vengeance. Yep. LPX. Yep, uh, 3000 megahertz. Yep. 3000. 2 times 8 gigabytes. So 2 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM. Mm -hmm. Which means you can put two more in later. Yeah. Ah. Flappy. Also, while Jared does that, get a load of the uh, certificate of authenticity in this box. Look at that. Beautiful oh, white. Look behind you. <laughs> hey, buddies. That's my fluffy boy. He's like, what's going on on this thread? Mm. <laughs> Tasty hand. I didn't know that yeah. this was white. That's cool. Yeah, we couldn't get um, LED RAM that would obey the motherboard without spending a lot of extra money. But, boy. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? <laughs> you really like the fluffy microphone cover. Yeah. Recommended so, uh, memory configuration. It was four dollars easier to get it in white than noise than black. <laughs> so I'm like, why not? Noise. So that'd be dim A2 and that'd be dim B2. Yes. Okay. So make sure you pop the little Yeah. These ones don't pop. 
Oh. No, he's right at the solid. Oh, wow. Okay, that's unusual. Just the one side. Yep. And, uh... So then you just wiggle the... Wiggle the top down until it clicks the... There we go. In this video we show off the fact that I have some handshakes going on. And that's a guarantee, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of that scene from, um, Coupling. Yeah, there's not enough blood for both, for ends, both of ends of your yeah. body. And Patrick's like, and that's a guarantee. Alright. Yeah. Ram in. Locked in. That locked looks in. good. It's locked in. That's locked and nice loaded. Ram. Fantastic. That is time. Ah, yes. Next part is the SSD for which we have the Samsung 960 Evo. M2. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty fucking nice. This got a next generation PC performance. They're pretty fucking good. Uh, 500 good? gigabyte. This is quite an upgrade for my current SSD, which is what? 128? Like yeah, so it's like four times. Yeah. Maybe you'll be able to install games on it. It's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. <laughs> I, to be fair, I've been using mine very effectively. You have been. I've had to. It's tiny and <laughs> unsatisfying. Well, okay. And that's a guarantee. <laughs> um, all right. So first step, actually, I'm going to interrupt with the story. Uh, when we ordered these parts, mm. this was one of the two pieces that had a uh, like pre-order mm -hmm. and an ETA on it. Um, the ETA had zero, apparently, mm. so we had no idea how long it would be until we get this. And this is a key component. But then, like, very next day, it came in. Apparently, the ETA meant zero time. Yeah, yeah like, now. It's pretty much here. So here we are with this. We're taking it out first because we need to see the length of it. Yeah, I'll put it, put it flat on that bitch. Gotta let people know how it measures up. <laughs> Alright, so it'll go in this way. I'll oh, spin around. Which means that'd be the support one there. Be the one on, like, right on the end of it. Yeah. It's got like a semicircle cut in it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it'll be the last one. That Or oh, second last one. It's like surg surgical work. Yeah. And I don't have the steadiest hands. Are you Doctor Strange? No. Are you a wizard? I am strange. Whether or not I'm a doctor is entirely up to the fact that I don't have a PhD. Mr. Doctor. Unlike some people we know. <clears throat> no. <laughs> yes. Though, still pending. Pending. She has submitted her thesis now. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's why Kate is hung over. Yep. <laughs> oh look, it's Kate's elbow. Mel's regrets have passed. Kate's have begun. <laughs> <laughs> See that there right. in there? So that doesn't need to be too tight, just... No. It's mainly just to keep it off the board. Now the weird thing about these uh, SSDs is that they go into that uh, that that bit yeah. at uh, like a 40, 45 degree angle. Ooh. Yeah. Like, just sort of gotta walk it in. Just wiggle it a bit from side to side, and it should go in. And then it is like on a hinge. Like you can pull it down. Oh yeah. And then you screw in the uh, the, the cap into that standoff screw. I need a screwdriver. You might need a tiny screwdriver. Alex, oh, they're behind you. Oh, okay. Well, someone replaced my finger on this then. Oh, it's okay. Okay, okay it's got it. I'll, I'll hold it this down and then you can do a screw. 
Philip's head? Yeah. Yes. The smallest one should do it, because they're I, very pointy ends. I would love it if there was a... Uh, there was a screwdriver type that actually had a uh, thing in it, an indentation, the shape of Philip's actual head. <laughs> Maybe that's how Philip gets head. What? No. So it doesn't have to be super tight, but as long as it's it's in there and holding it. Okay, looking good. Yep. You've uh, that's your C drive. That's yeah. my C that drive. Shit's fuck, that shit fucks You're me up. Windows, yeah. From like two decades of building computers. Look at that shit. This is my D drive. Yeah. Of course your D drive is big and thick and... I won't uh, display any more of that because that comes later. It does. Spoilers. Uh, does anything else have to go on the board? What's Rick drinking? Oh, it's time for what's Rick drinking. <laughs> Don't open it above the board. Take it elsewhere. It's Cricketer's Arm Session Isn't Ale. It? Again. What a surprise. <laughs> This is the snow edition, because there's snow case in it. Oh. <laughs> <They're better. laughs> For the case, we have the beautiful Thermal Take. Mm. Call all your life. No, wait. Thermal Take Versa N27. Mm. Snow actually, edition. I'm a real big fan of Thermal Take's cases lately. Mel's computer um, came in a Thermal Take case. Not my choice. Uh, it was a pre-built, but it's a really nice case. You know what satisfying bit is coming up. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh. yes. <laughs> Ooh. This is the fun bit where you get to undress your partner. Ooh, satisfying. Yes. Are you ready? I'm so ready. People of the internet. Oh, it's beautiful. That little crisp. Pop. Each individual air bubble that was in there revealing itself the outside Ooh, world. We're approaching the corner. Look at that curl. R slash oddly satisfying. Eat your heart out. Oop. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> A disaster. Now I get to do it twice now. Oh. It's <laughs> popping. Popping like you're popping popcorn. Pop it. Pop it Please. while it's... Fresh out of the box. Almost there. It is done. Beautiful. <laughs> and it's got another side. Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh. Right? Yeah. Make sure you like ground yourself before you get back to touching your yeah. hands. Yeah. Alright, what's well, a good way to ground myself? Mm. I'll go to my room. Which one do you want? Airflow. Two airflows. So, uh, getting these panels off... Was a nightmare. Yeah. Um, we decided to censor it because it wasn't safe. It's but, naked! But with a little gentle coercing and... 
brute strength. Yeah. We are... Violence. Violence. Not always the answer, but in this case, mm. it is. What is this? It's jammed in there real good, whatever it is. All right. Jared, I'll swap you. All right. We are putting... We are putting into this case these Master Fan Pro 120s, 120 mil, um, airflow RGB. We've picked these fans because they have lights. They have a Zeus Aura Sync compatibility. Yes, and that is, which is sort of the basis of the system that we're building here. So where are we putting these, Alex? Uh, these are going to go uh, on the front panel, both as uh, air intakes into the chassis. So the air is going to go in, the panel's gone, but it's got vents like this. Air will go in the front, through the case, then out the exhaust fan here, and the CPU cooler is also going to be mounted as an exhaust on the top. So the air will flow through the case. Now. All right, you missed the unboxing, but this is a fan. It spins. It does, and it's got lights. Yes. Where are we at? All right, so we've managed to get the bits off. That happened last time, I'm remembering now. Yes. Uh, I got the little white cardboard box out. Mm, which was in one of the hard drive trays. Because uh, the, these fans did not come with the appropriate screw, screws to fit this case. Mm. And while we were trying to come up with a solution, I pulled this out and I'm like, oh, hey. All our problems are solved. All our problems are solved. Glory to the box. Glory to the Sultano. So now we have an exhaust fan on the back. Yep. And we've got these two airflow fans on the front. Mm. And they'll glow and they'll pull air in. Mm. And uh, so what's next? We're going we're gonna to fit the CPU cooler which is in there somewhere, to the board, put the board in the case. That's not the case. <laughs> Alright. Jared. Hi everyone. Welcome back to day two. Yeah, it's been a while, uh, as you can probably tell from the different shirt. Fuzzy boy. What are you eating? What are you eating? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. A rubber band. No, nope, it's no good. What has happened? <laughs> we put the cooler and the... Alright, let me... So we put the motherboard in there. Yes. And um, we put the... Uh, so it's got the, the cooler in there attached to the top with this fan. Yeah. Um, except in order to get that in there... We had to unscrew the motherboard and move it out again and then screw yeah. that in. Put it all back in place, so it was a lot of screwing around. And we missed that in the video because it was hard enough already. And it was a lot of screwing around. Yeah. Did you know you can get your own customized pop socket so you could put the onion logo on it? Alright, you've got my full attention. So, we're going to put a hard drive in one of these trays. The hard drive we're using is a Western Digital 2 terabyte WD Black 7200 RPM, the only way to go. It's going in here. Alright. We'll get the skizzes. This is going to do it. Can we put like Benny Hill music over this or something? Um, large quantities of footage will just end up being cut. Or we could put that uh, that music from the induction facility. Oh yeah, I know the one. The we're being dumb music. Yeah. Please the scheming dumb. weasel is the scheming name. Scheming weasel. Skeezel. You know that? I don't think that lines up. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it's off by a little bit, so I don't think that works. Oh, hang on, I'm stupid. It goes in the big holes. Is in the, the, the big holes at the end. Ah. Yeah. Right. Then it slides in go. this way. I can't. 
This light is fucking horrendous. It's the top one. Can we get the lamp? Ta da! Ta da! Oh my god! Amazing. That's Why did I put my phone? Fat storage. I could be providing light. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm supposed to be building. <laughs> Uh, next is power supply. The Silverstone, that thing. ST70F-ES230. Never had a problem with Silverstone power supplies. Look light. <laughs> you did it. Hi. RTFM. Fuck the manual. Blah. Good lord. Right. Oh good, another one of these. Always running low on these. Mm. That's the uh, standard power connector. Bog standard. That is how all the people in the bog hook their shit up. Off. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Simple. But that's what's beautiful about it. Slimy, but satisfying. What are you doing? Zooming in on various things. Oh dear. Alright. <laughs> this is the tricky bit. This is the front panel, or in this case, the top panel connectors. Um, it's easily the worst part of the procedure. It's kind of satisfying too when you get it right. Yeah. But it's very fiddly. Thankfully, if you do get it right, they just slide on. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it might. Oh, yeah, I see an arrow. Yeah, okay. So the arrow. Alright, so next to the power LED, the next two along is for power switch. Yep. And I put the arrow on the leftmost one of them. So the right next to power LED negative, I put the arrow of power switch. Alright. So that probably means it's going to be upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Having performance anxiety. Jared. Alex. Take us through the problem that just happened that we didn't get live footage of because it was such a bitch to fix. But all right, uh, first of all, please excuse the mess. We'll do a tidy up and everything, but uh, this cable here, the CPU cable, mm. which we've run down the back, well, up the back. Uh, but it was yeah. being interrupted by one of these screws. Yes. That you may remember that we had to take the motherboard out again just to screw this in. Uh, so we almost had to do that again. But thankfully, Rick managed to use these sharp boys to the twist, boys. twist the screw out and... Uh, so now there's no screw back there, and thanks to these being rubbery and having some give, we've managed to fit the CPU plug in. What a fucking journey that was. Yeah. No, that was, Rick helped us with that. With no, Rick. surgery, yeah. Um, so now we're just gonna put the video card in and then tidy up all the cable runs around the video card, because that always changes the topology of a case. We have probably the least wanky thing in your case, to be honest. An MSI graphics card. Let's do this. Yeah. Got some lens flare, courtesy of 
JJ Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> this computer build was brought to you by JJ Abrams. Yeah. Not a sponsor. Light in the background. Oh, because it's a bat light? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Graphics card, quick user's guide. Oh, the driver that's but probably out of date. Quick user's guide is only for fast users. If you're going to use it slowly, don't read it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it doesn't help us because, uh, or it doesn't help us too much because no CD drive. That's true. We are using an external to install Windows. Yeah. I uh, got a dragon here. Oh boy. Lucky the dragon, computer workshop. Furries rejoice. Sorry, scalies. Scalies. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and stickers. Oh boy. Pimp that rig. Get riggedy wrecked. Those back in the sleeve. And we'll get to the grand reveal. It's a bag. Yeah. It's a heavy bag. It's a heavy bag. Look at this beast. Yeah. For comparison, here is my hand. <laughs> it's pretty fucking big. Uh, we went with this because um, the MSI cards this generation have actually been really good for fan noise. They're fairly quiet. Um, normally I'm a gigabyte guy, but hey. Also it helps that the, the white of the design actually fits your case. Thank you for choosing an MSI product. Anytime that your products are good. If they're not good, I won't choose them. This thing looks beautiful. It's, yeah. It's big. That's it, what I like in a graphics it, card. It's a, I think that's like a two and a half slot card. Like it takes two and a half PCI slots. Most of it's cooler. I'll get this bad boy out of here. Grip it. There we go. Yeah. Such an original beast. beast. Give the fan a spin. Ooh. This one too. Wicked, wicked. All right, and uh, I guess now we put this bad boy in. Yeah. Now we're going to install it. Rip. Mm. All right. We're back. That's a light protectors. T Lie detectors? Yes. Okay. Where so are we, we at? We put the Beastie Boy in. The Beastie Boy. And uh, we hooked up. We hooked it up to the power. Yep. With the 6 plus 2 optional. Yep. And another. So, that guy's in. And then... We put this sneaky little LED strip down the bottom. Let's see if I can get that in shot. There it is. And it, it's held in place with magnets. Fucking magnets. Magnets. Yeah. How do they work? And then it is getting its RGB instructions from the same connector that is giving the cooler its RGB. Mm. So everything can be synchronized. Synchronized. With the Asus AuraSync thing. Synchro nice. Synchro nice. So, and uh, yeah, yeah, the next step from here on out is to just tidy up the cables because everything is in. Yep. And then we can install software and yeah. Yeah, fire this thing up. See how it glows. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jared, we're here. We're back. Woo! Woo! So uh, it's it's here. It's here. It's, it's complete. It's not tested yet. No. We're about to try that. I'm going to press the button. All right. First, I'm going to hit the thing at the back. Oh, I was hoping you'd forget that because it would be funny. Go on. <laughs> Got some lights going on inside. They're changing color. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the one that you mentioned. Oh, from the, the motherboard the little one. thingy. Yeah. Awesome. All right. right, and now, for the moment of 
truth. Whoa! Holy shit! It's quiet. Oh, it's already synchronized all the colors. Yeah. Like the CPU cool is going in time with the front fans and everything. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. This is the wankiest thing. I love it, dude. <laughs> and look at the front. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. That looks fucking top. Republic of Gamers. Give me your secrets. Memory frequency. This RAM is rated up to 3000. Is, is that it? Is that all I have to do? Shh, Alex. What's that? Want me to play games on you? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try on the 3000 RAM. We'll see if shuts off. So, uh, exit. This was an unexpected extra lighting feature. Which one? The great. Oh yeah, that's it's great. coming through there. Alright. <laughs> I like that. The, uh, the board's fallen out of sync with everything else. But it's because we're not running the software yet, because it's... Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. And look at the glow in there. The cooler looks like a the fucking cooler. arc reactor, dude. Right? How good is that? It's fucking crazy.